Hello, my name is uh, Kain San Monoye. Welcome to the part three of uh, a relational database management system and uh, a referential integrity as well as relationship. I think I'm treating all the topics uh, at once. Now, I'm not taking a lesson on Microsoft Access database, but I'm taking a, a course on relational database management system. And I'm going to demonstrate using Microsoft Access database and also Microsoft SQL Server database. So now we've created these tables and uh, it is actually a database in Microsoft Access. Now I want to teach you how to export this database to Microsoft SQL Server and be able to open it as Microsoft SQL Server database. And later on, I teach you how to create this database right in SQL Server. I already have SQL Server installed in my system. And so I go ahead to, to use database tools right in Access. You have this database tools tab. So in the database tools tab, you have SQL Server. So in the tool tip, there you have SQL Server, Okay, and then you have migrate some or all parts of a database to a new or existing um, uh, a Microsoft SQL Server database. Of course, if you don't have Microsoft SQL Server installed, you'll not be able to do this uh, uh, migration. So we want to migrate our uh, Microsoft Access database to SQL Server. So just go ahead to click on this okay before you're able to migrate make sure you close up all the objects that are in your database that are open save everything and then close them all so click on sql server and you have this upsizing wizard they have upsizing wizard it allows you to easily upsize your microsoft assets database to Microsoft SQL Server database. So I'm creating a new database because it wasn't existing. My database in Microsoft Access is called RelationDB and I'm going to call it the same name in Microsoft SQL Server. So I click on next and then we'll wait for a, a little moment and then um, just hold on. Just hold on, my system is uh, it's quite sluggish, uh, but just hold on a bit. Okay, if we are fortunate, uh, in a moment, we'll be able to see this. Okay, fine. So, what SQL Server would you like to use for this database? I already have SQL Server uh, here. Of course, that is the, I think that is the only, okay, we have Express, we have this. So I leave it at the default. I don't need no login, no password. I want to use the same name. So let me just remove this relation DB. So, uh, okay. Okay, so now don't know why it's asking me for a login and password, but now I'll, I'll just say use trusted connection. I think with this, it will use the credentials of the logged in user. The current Windows uh, login credentials will be used to create and also assess. So let's go on next. The quick tables do you want to export? I'm exporting everything. Next. Okay, now take note, take note that uh, Microsoft Access upsizing, that is uh, uh, exporting this Microsoft uh, Access database uh, could not get the query exported. And so that is one thing. If you are building the database, it's always better you build in SQL Server but it's also okay to know how to export data from uh, Access to SQL Server. So just go ahead to go click on Next. So it's asking me what table attributes do you want to upsize? Uh, 
indexes but okay let's take the indexes oh, that's the primary case we go uh, defaults yeah table relationships perfect table relationships is good and then you have uh, all of these um we want to export both the data and the, the, the table structure so i think we are good to go so just go ahead to say next so uh so we move on next take note of this uh directory and but we don't have no business with it so let's move on to next and then we finish if we are fortunate in some seconds we'll have a new database created in microsoft sql server remember we call the name relation db so this is a report of the successful exports uh, of microsoft access database to microsoft sql server so how do i check if my data was successfully exported right uh, open if you have installed uh, microsoft sql server you should have microsoft sql server management studio and then let's open it and see if we can see the relation db table we just created R relation db database that we just exported so okay connect that's just fine it's connected so right here in the object explorer we just expand databases we just look at look for relation db and that is it relation db right so let's look at our tables and that is just fine i remember we exported the relationship so um okay so 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 if we select the rows of the department We'll see that the rows are selected so what we are going to do now let's check if referential integrity will be enforced let's try to insert or let's try to change the the one of these to something else that is not existing because we actually exported the relationship and that uh, uh, there it goes and we have the the that is, is, is telling us that uh, the the referential integrity constraint has been violated so relationships were exported so we have our data right there in sql server so in the next video i'm going to show you how to create query in microsoft sql server actually what we are going to create is view and that is equivalent to query in microsoft's assets so i would like to thank you for viewing please try to practice this on your own try to get this uh into your fingertips it's not difficult for any problem you have try to leave a comment and tell me what is not clear i'll be very very glad to explain it very clearly to you if you've not subscribed to my channel please click on the subscribe button if this is informative for you give a thumbs up I remain kind someone on you and check out for part three and they will be discussing how to create views in Microsoft SQL Server database.